<laughs> welcome, 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 guys, to another episode of Professionals. My name is Mayawa, aka Big Daddy. Today we are here with a beautiful Montana, with an amazing Beck Vec, Big Glenn. So Montana, you're Beck, back. Beck, Beck. Welcome I'm back. I'm back. Thank you for having me. Woo! It's good to applause, be back. Applause, guys. applause, applause. Yeah. So, guys, how have you been? Good, 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 Great. good, 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 good. Nothing special. No. Besides, guys, book your Afro Nation tickets for 2024, please. Let's go. Where? As pod patients. No, we, we still have time. There's still a lot of um, Afro Nation still coming up, right? No, this is 2023, but I'm already getting ready for 2024. Oh, she, she, okay. She's talking of next year. No, but what about things are going to go down. No, I'm joking. What about Mi- Miami? It's <laughs> still about to happen. Miami? Miami? Miami is a thing it's still about to happen. Ghana is still about to happen. Lagos is still about to happen. I might probably go for Costa Rica. I might probably go for Afro Nation Ghana. Stay no, oh, I'm a bit. Mm, Anyone watching from one. Ghana? Yeah, what should happen in Ghana? Ghana's more chill than Ghana is nice. But I did see everyone enjoyed Afro Nation last year. In Ghana. I think yeah, Afro Nation Afro Ghana has to be, has to be no, a banger. Uh, everything in Ghana is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Proper vibe. Afro Nation Ghana. If you want to go to South Africa end of the year, Kendrick Lamar is playing. No, nah, that's not my okay. vibes. That's just hip hop. We're not. Here, we're not. Here, we're not. We're not want to hear your chicky yo yo. Nah, nah, nah. We want to hear your chicky yo yo. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, I mean, is, is a good rapper, but I don't mm. want to listen to Kendrick Lamar for five minutes. No, you so can listen to it, but if, if you're on a vibe of dancing, so yeah, it's not something nah, that you might want to It's not a concept. So, yeah. so nothing special happened this week. No, and you? Mm, no, I'm, like I said, I'm still, I'm still transitioning to the new apartment. So on Friday, I gave my apartment back. So that's, that one is done. So the next thing that I'm missing is basically just furniture. I'm trying to get the furnitures in. But that mm. will still also take a while. Because yeah, that doesn't happen overnight. Unfortunately not. Well, yeah. As long as the kitchen is in, then we are rolling. The mm. kitchen is coming when? Uh, sometime this week. Maybe on Friday. By, then, by that time, everything should be done. And then off to the next project. Woo! But if you guys want to cash out me for servicing you guys with this podcast, although I'm always here, no matter if I'm sick, He's always cash, here, guys. Cash up me. Yeah. I need them. He's, he's the true one. Yeah. No, we have to. So please, right now, financially speaking, I'm skinned. Shies. Hey. But yeah, but that's part of life. You know? Yeah. God is the money, greatest right? provider. Mm. Yeah. That's what my mom said to me. My mom asked me once for money and I told her she should go and read, um, read, um, read Mark chapter four. Oh. I don't even know what it says. No, there's a special, there's a special verse in the Bible. What's the, what's the verse called? It would, it would, um, I can't remember. (laughs) But I know, but I know, but I know, yeah, it's like, you would always provide it. I think it's Mark chapter 4, 26 to 27. No idea, sorry. You should should not believe in them, uh, in the child of man, because the child of man can't do anything for you. I can't give you any money, so... Believe in the So God. So instead of answering mom, no, you're like, Mark chapter 4, whatever. God will provide basically saying, so oh, oh, what's, what's the like the, God the, is the, a provider. the, 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 the most da, 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 da. interesting thing someone has told you when you asked like for money? People just say no. Nothing. People just tell me that yeah, they have already paid for this and that and no. So now for I don't me, ask my parents for money. No, for me, like back then it's always like, yeah, we'll see what God will do. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my, my parents will just my parents will just tell me straight up no. Yeah, I was always back home. It's like, oh, for what? I'm like, oh, I want to go out with my friends, but you already went out this week. I'm like, ah, fine, okay, go go out again. Oh, no, yeah, but those are our parents, you know, they don't. Uh, For me, as you'll see what God will do when I hear that, then I know it's uh, (laughs) it's not. It's not, no, it's it's like 50 50. So you have to find a plan B. How you get the money? That's better. I'd rather, I'd rather put put my faith in myself to be fair to make the money. Mm. I'm stressed though, yeah, but guys. But before we start the pod, though, really, really, okay, you know we missed Montana in the last exactly. pod. Exactly. What happened? I, what I happened? will miss sorry, that ginger, sorry, sorry. but we need to appreciate Montana's glow. Montana, please do. Please, thank please, you, please, thank please, you. Please, this please, is please, the please, sun. Please, this is my please. natural color. Mm-hmm. Not yet fully. No, how no, it was no, in no, South Africa? No natural color is way browner. It burnt, yeah. Right now, I won't say burnt. It's brown. You know, you're red, quite mm. reddish. This is like brown I don't even know, but that is always the same. No, <laughs> no, no, that's no that's I've got a scale. In winter, winter I'm like completely different. Like uh, look, my time is like this. Like this, this. in winter, yeah. In winter, it's like ugh, disgusting. Now I'm finally getting my brown back, and it's so nice. I feel like the most confident in this brown. You're you're getting your black back, you know. <laughs> I'm getting darker. Exactly. I'm getting like dark. dark. You look like twelve fifty nine. 11.59 actually. Oh, I look like under the bed. Under the bed. 
You know what? Under the bed. No. Some is a very dark. Yeah. Under the bed. Nah, but oh, you're yeah, close to I'm, 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 I'm darker <laughs> in the summer, but there are still levels to this. Do you put on sunscreen stuff. every day? I no. Wish. You don't have to put sunscreen as black. You do. No, you do. <laughs> it's got to do with aging too. You do have to put okay, on sunscreen. Then, then say it's because of pro age, like pro aging or anti aging. I don't know what they call this collagen shit. Yeah. But it's not because of your UV light, because your skin is already made to, but, to, but to, but to withstand UV light. Okay, you might want your light. Yeah. I'm camera. <laughs> I thought I was a caramel. <laughs> yeah, you're very light car- caramel, yeah. But okay. but like, is it like extremely lighter than me or like just a little mm-hmm. bit shady? So one more shade. A few mm-hmm. more. <laughs> not a few one more. more. Yeah. yeah. Really? Am I yeah. that dark? Yeah. I'm really dark, dark. My chest is, I think my, my chest looks like almost like is your chest lighter? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's going on? Brother Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but in, in summer, I'm like darker. Winter, it's, yeah, get my. Yeah, melanin popping. My yeah, I know it's nice. It's nice to be brown, guys. So I guess we have to go for in for Word on the Streets. You guys word have been enjoying street. Word on the Streets. Word on the street. What's happening? I sent on the you street? some fire Word on the Streets. You sent street me, me a few things, but I also found a few things already. So. Okay, let's, let's go. Just, let's just keep going for the first one. Guys, listen. You, there's no benefit with being friends with, with a, a female. female. I've been a male bestie before. In most of those situations, I like that girl. I got friend zone. You know what I'm saying? She always like calls me when she wants to tell me about that guy, the boyfriend, mm. if he's acting stupid. You so, like the guy? You my guide? You you tell me. Yeah, but like there's no that? benefit. No, to but me. there's no benefit to him though. Yes, me me. I'm helping you in every regard, right? But for me, there's no benefit. Like the only thing that I would ever want from her is like intimacy, as you said. And I'm not gonna get that. Basically, all use. No, no, no just we are being used. You allowing yourself to be used. Exactly. exactly. No dude has ever been really close friends with an ugly girl. Just think about that for a second. Ah. From- Facts. Facts. So, Victor, you're only keeping me in your life because. <laughs> 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 Got you. But, no, no, Got no. You? But, but let's be honest. Got Maya, you. How many? How many? Guys, do you know they have ugly female best friend? And they're like, yo, that's my best. That's what, oh, wow. I don't know. I, ah, I don't think you can find your friends ugly if they're your best friends. Ah, come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. No, from outside looking. At. <laughs> but it's <impossible laughs> if I, come, I see it like Mario would But if I'm already your friend, then no, no, then I can't do it. Yeah. I can't be from outside looking at anymore. Yeah. No, 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 mm. no. Let me rephrase the question again. Okay. How many people, no, from, from outside looking in, you're not the persons. So you see one guy, another girl, mm-hmm. both of them are besties. How many times do you see that the girl that, the guy um, that's best friends with the guy mm-hmm. is ugly? Not too often. It barely happens. Yeah, it barely happens. But like he rightly said, as a man, you don't benefit anything from being friends. The woman. But why don't you just want to be friends with the woman? But if you're pretty, so why now, do I want to just be your friend? I'll so I have this fear every time I'm getting close to a man. That yeah, I'm thinking we're friends. It's, it's, it's rightfully so that you feel like... No, I'm because it's happened to me twice before. Mm-hmm. Where I think we're friends. Meanwhile, a month later, they confess their feelings. Oh, you feel it's a strong word. I'll be like, yeah, I wouldn't mind No, I mean, no, I no, like no, but, you. But, no, but the thing is, like, let's, let's be honest. Like, if the, if the guy is single... And you are single, and you guys are best friends or good friends. Yeah, but I, ne- I never gave you that. No, no, no. But it's not about you. It's about the guy. It's what he's feeling. So if he, if he says, "Oh, yeah, this person I hang out with her every day anyway," so like maybe there might be more. They always say they're your best friend. Oh, yeah, there's some there's some truth to that. So, but I think girls can stay best friends with guys without oh, any feelings. Yes, we, we know yes. women are the ones that are controlling yeah, this thing. Yeah. You know. I feel like it's possible for guys and females to be best friends. If you're already smashed. Only if the guy never wants to fuck. Like but genuinely. Okay. But you guys want to fuck anything that moves. No, nah, no, relax, no, relax. no. It depends, no, it depends, no, on, it depends no, on which current no, situation no. you're in. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're all, if you're constantly, constantly getting filled up and you're not hungry, you're, you're already saturated, nah. That's when you have a standard, but if it's already a drought for two months, three months, ah, split screen. Anything there's can a, happen. There's a standard of 
of women that are no, there's a, there's a certain nah, point nah. that you can't go below this. Nah, you can't. Nah. Can't. Maybe back in the days, maybe, but no, nah, no, nah, 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 nah. I don't maybe. understand this thing now. What, what? No, like, like, like let's what? Like, let's no, because like, you said like guys will fuck anything. Yeah. moving. I think yeah, you that's can. that's very untrue. I can't go past below four. No, I can't even go past below six. Nah, come that's a lie. Man. No, that's a lie. And what no. happens if you're a four? That's, 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 that's no, 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 matter. no. If if let's say if I'm a four, a two, or a one. No, from, from my perspective, no, think, I, I don't want to see that. No, think, I'm, okay. I'm looking at, okay, who do I think Victor, is objective? Victor, we are talking about, think of the point where you're your lowest of low. Not when you're on a high. Your lowest of low. How, how low can you go? Do you mean currently or back in the days? How low can you go? I just like currently, currently is, is impossible. No, currently, because you're on a high. No, to be on the lowest of the low. But, uh, but I mean, the thing is, a woman can be like extremely like unattractive but maybe there's something else that attracts me that I'll be like yeah maybe that's awful times a four I don't know <laughs> that's what I'm saying but yeah. what's a four though give me an example no I can't give you an example give me an example <laughs> well, four, is really, four is more limited to the ugly than to the medium mm-hmm. I don't know no. I, can't, I can't give you an example I know a four when I see one personally speaking that I'll be like no this is not my type but I'm do you know right what now. four is what is a four four is like T- uh, name a name it better not be mine. <laughs> nah, yeah. you're solid. No, no. Let me, let me, let me see. A four. I'm, I'm not going to name names, but like a four is like you. There's nothing attractive about her apart from maybe her behavior. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Her behavior or personality? Oh, yeah, personality. Yeah, but uh-huh. physically she's not attractive. But she's a four because she has a nice personality. Yeah. And even that, that, but that wouldn't wouldn't that be at six? Ah uh, no, no ah, not turn up. Six, six, no, six and seven is more like she's cute, but she can't be sexy. Six, yeah. Six and seven is like she will always be great. Every day she's gonna be like, oh, she's beautiful. But if she stands next to somebody that's like obviously sexy, she's gonna be like, nah. But, but let's 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 see from a woman's perspective. I'll be honest. Now, what's a fault to you, like? Describe like most men are probably fours and fives. No, 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 most men are not fours and fives. It depends, it's all very subjective. So, Montana, okay. what's a four to you? Describe a four. I don't have a four. I don't think I've. No, no, four. no, you have to like put it in <coughs> Okay. That's it. Because I try to put my. Because I'm like, for me, a four is, like I said. Okay, I think, I think a four. Can you yeah, even tag that a four. Person? <laughs> don't, I don't. I don't think I know anyone who's a four. A four would pop for me. A four would be someone who, yeah, is not like not not attractive, but a bit cute, nerdy. Cute. Ah, okay, nerdy. Nerdy is a four. That's true. Nerdy is a four because uh, nerdy is can't, five. No, nah, five is already you have a little bit of style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like those geek, ne- like a nerd, like nerd. Big glasses that like yeah. Star Wars. That they're wearing like Ma- Master Yoda, and the wee, 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 <laughs> making all these weird noises. <laughs> I, I actually got. I got a. Um, a rule of of Tom in terms of like mm-hmm. women choosing men. Oh, okay. okay. What's that? From someone. She said, <clears throat> if you're very good looking, like mm-hmm. extremely good looking, like mm-hmm. across the board, across the board, she can excuse you not having money. Yep. Yeah, fact. You not being smart. Yep. yep. And you not having ambition. Yep. Yeah. But but the relationship well, won't last. <laughs> yeah. No, it won't. It won't. So and she'll also excuse you being a douche and like a few yeah. things. Mm. So if you're if you're like smart, ah, I wish I was so pretty. If you're smart, <laughs> you can. She can excuse you for not not being the most good looking. Being the most good. But then, but then, but then see, I expect you, you to have, have a personality. That means you have to have everything else, which is which is which is man. So so if you're smart, if, if if you're smart, you have to have everything else, maybe apart from the. Look. The yeah, you have to yeah. have oh, there's something that I I missed, which, which is um, height. I I I I, 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 could, I could play a part like that's like good looking. No, because no, if, height, if, is, height is height is a, height yeah. Is because important. if I not me necessarily, she, but if a woman sees a guy who's over six foot, all yeah. the other things totally out yeah, the window. The, the you can't be extremely sexy and five foot five foot six. That, yeah, yeah. That's no, because that's my height. Yeah. But <laughs> the thing is, she now she didn't even say height. She said dick dick size. Nah, uh-huh. I, don't, I don't think that's that important. Bro, I can't bro, speak bro. on that one. Should I tell you why? Okay, why? She said, okay, a guy is not extremely good looking, mm-hmm. um, has no um, money, mm-hmm. but if, okay, when I, okay, let me just say dick size, not, but like if you can shut it down in bed. 
I believe that sex isn't as important as people are making it seem. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nah, nah. I, I think most women. It's just. It's no, just no, a not, thing. not for. I'm not saying we're not. I'm not talking of like. Um, this rule is not for like a relationship. Mm-hmm. It's just for we to be cool and at least we can find each other attractive somehow. Oh, okay. okay so okay, this okay, is not okay, a. Okay, this okay, is okay. not a relationship oh, rule. Okay. This yeah. is a rule to like. Maybe just we more interactions. We could do something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that, 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 that makes sense. Yeah. So it's so uh, that means you could also smash a four if she's like sexually like a professional. She would do something that is it won't do. Yes, but maybe not more than once. I don't believe so. Do you know why? Should what I tell why? you why? 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 Because, um. For me to, I won't be excited having sex. Like there won't be that rush. That's a lie. That's a lie. I that's think a lie. that's there, a lie there won't too. Be that rush. You'd be excited because she's doing things that your eight won't be exactly, doing. Exactly. Exactly. It's a mental act. No, but you're saying she's a four. Yeah, but it's a no, mental. She's a four. Nah. She's not a six. She's not no, a seven. No, but no. It's a, four. it's a mental archive. It's a mental yeah. archive. You just be maybe you're at work now. It's I don't know. It's ten a.m. in the morning. You're clipping on your on your, your keyboard. You get and a all message. of a flashback. Boom. Oh. It was like damn. But then in your mind, you'll just be like, but I actually don't like her. But why am I but still they, so attracted no, to her? No, yeah, exactly. Then you get a message, hey, babe, are you coming over tonight? And you're like, I am. It would just be easier for you to leave, but you'll still yeah. always come back. You'll go back, please. <sighs> you still please. Want, th- th- that's why, so you know why? Do you know why? Because I can't, I, I would say yes now because I don't have a picture in my mm-hmm. head mm-hmm. of how the person looks. Mm-hmm. Because if... Because I'm thinking of a four, and I have a picture of my head, and I'm thinking no. It's because normally, <laughs> as, 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 as men, men more oftentimes we don't regard women that we don't find attractive. That's just how it is. It's like anybody, like for most men, it's like a medium or like a five is is calm. But anything below that, you don't really regard those people. Just like, just don't care. But I'm the exact same. You see, I'm like that with short men. How <laughs> <laughs> short? My height and shorter. Wait, how, how tall are you? I'm one six. seven. Yeah, five, six. 170, exactly. Mm-hmm. But that's calm then. And if anyone's okay, shorter for, than me, nah, I don't for, even give them okay, two okay, looks. Okay, for a guy, 170 like, is... No, you, just, you just be patting on his head like... I, I see Montana as a tall girl. Like, for a girl, she's... You, you, she's I'm above average. average. I'm you, average, No, you're yeah. above average. You, you seem quite tall. Yeah, so I'm really? actually surprised I, that I you're like, 170. No, I'm only 170. I thought you were taller. I was always yeah. told, you're never going to get any guys because you're so tall. I you're but taller, I'm not I, even I, that I tall. Thought you, I thought you were taller than 170. <laughs> no, I'm only one. I could date a woman that's taller than me. Way taller. Yeah. I won't mind. I could date a man who's, when I wear heels, he's my height. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm his but, height. But, 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 but Maya, what, what do you mean by way taller though? <laughs> Look, anything that, any, okay, <laughs> like, if, let's, let's say for instance, if a woman is seven foot or something. Like, <laughs> no, it's, it's, okay. It's seven that's, foot woman okay, looks kind of because that has these massively long legs. But if a woman is like six something, come on, yeah. That yeah. Means, look, look at my big head. It's okay, constantly okay, okay. Abound up. What, 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 I'm, I'm thinking of a tall guy. Remember, remember, um, remember. We can do most things in standing. Remember, about it. remember Michael sure. that Michael. came on the pod. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, can you date a woman that is as tall as Michael? Even with heels. Facts. Bro, for me to do that, she has to be extremely gorgeous. She will she be. She will be extremely she gorgeous. She will be. I don't know. <laughs> she will be. No, but what is it about short women that attract men? It's just this type of like no, opposite. No, I, I don't like too short women. No, me, me neither. Because you can't looks, be you can't be four foot eleven. You look like a little girl wearing. Yeah, hair. Yeah. Like, nah, man. You can't be five foot one. Nah, I don't like when little little short women are wearing like these little little puny no, cute women. Like Even your mini skirt looks like a full skirt. Like, uh-huh. nah. Nah. no, I don't like move. Like, you have to be a so, certain. Nah, certain height. Too short is also not attractive. Like, too short is for me not attractive. But I don't mind because height, the thing like, is, I would always feel like yeah, she's a small girl. Like exactly. A short woman can never be sexy. She'll be like, she's working. I'm like, primary school? A very <laughs> short woman can never be no. sexy. She can be cute. But cute. she would never be sexy. Oh, no, It's like, you know, those, those bodybuilders that also like to have like yeah. very little girls. It's like this, I don't know. And, like when I say, and when I say short, I, I'm not, I don't mean like short. Like, for example, I think 160 is like, or 155 is... 155 is quite okay. short. Yeah, but 155 would be like the brink the, of... Yeah, 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 yeah that would yeah. be the brink else. of yeah. like, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's it. But anything below 155, you can never be sexy. You can be cute. Come, yeah. Uh, it's very, yeah. very... Yeah. That's one thing yeah. I realized. It's very, very important to be sexy. 
Because there are certain spaces that we need to get to. I need you to no, look sexy. No, but like cute. every person's definition of being sick, everyone has a different definition of sexy, sexy, right? Sexy is something I would want every now and then. You know, we're going to a ball, dress Okay, nice, but like, does your wow. sexiness come with looks or with personality too? Everything. It's like your package. That's a good question. It's because a, it's a, I would in say my no. head, I would, say no. head, I would say it's just looks. Yeah. In my, no, in my head, it's personality. It's how much charm I yeah, have. But, but because we are, we are talking from a woman's perspective. Guys are yeah, more, guys are yeah, more that's like, why I'm asking yeah. you. Do you guys actually physically mean... Yeah, physically. Like, come on. You no, are but, 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 Maya, we know girls that are like extremely good looking but not sexy. Yeah, but I also know women that are not... Like, they have like a very sexy personality. Yeah, but not but like... But you won't... Be, you just yeah. be like... Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. yeah. If a guy comes with a great personality and a sexy personality, he charms me up. He can be a five, and I'll be like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because yeah, I get it. I feel like the way women are wired is kind of like. Or if he's funny, man. Ah, but let's be honest. There's so much fun you can't do. I know. My mom always used to say, yeah. "A clown's not gonna pay the bills." Yeah, <laughs> but it's true. It's so true. much. Unless, unless he's a professional clown, this mm. guy is doing it professionally. Mm. But we didn't even answer the question, though. To be to be friends on, to get friends on. Yeah. So, do you believe like a guy and a girl can be like really friends? I believe it. I Two believe things, like you rightly said. I believe it the guy never won't, never wants to smash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or they've already smashed. And yeah. They already passed it. Yeah. I think that one. That, that one, one. I would prefer that one. I, I think would, that I would one works. One. Me and you have already. Yeah, smashed we've already it. smashed. We've already gotten out of the way. There is no awkwardness. We know. We know. There's no like fantasy happening, you know. So I can, I can, I can. You guys are, you guys are joking. We already smashed, and the sex was good, and we're hanging out every single time. Yeah, but that means that we know that the re- there is no relation that we can. Yeah, have. bro, come on, you're no, a guy. No, no, <laughs> I honestly, do you know? Do uh, was it bad sex or good? No, sex? it's good. Well, we can have good sex, and, but I must still be like, I, c- we can. There's a threshold. We can't move past friendship. It's always just gonna be sex, but if you are in a relationship and I'm in a relationship, then I know that. No, I can no, just no. I'm not saying both parties are in a relationship. But you guys have only, smashed only, before, yeah. And you would only stay attraction. friends with her if it were good sex. If it were bad sex, you would have left in any case. No, no I, would, I, would leave, oh, uh, I would leave. I feel no, like it's the other way around. If it was bad, maybe I would stay. No, I would stay anyways. If it's yeah, good, like no matter if it was if, good or bad sex. If it was good sex and we vibe like that as my friend, yeah. I want to fuck you again. Yeah, but until eventually you, 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 both of you will get tired. Mm. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like we, we don't want, maybe every time we see is not every time we have sex, but like once in a while we. Which is calm. Yeah. Which is calm. And so, then eventually, once she, let's say for instance, she's now in a relationship. So my condition is we can only be friends if I don't want to fuck. The other condition, the yeah, second condition doesn't work. I can still be your good. I think I could so be. So every a, girlfriend you've had, mm-hmm. you've wanted to fuck? I don't have girlfriend. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't have girlfriend. I think if you ask them openly, they will say yes. Like on a, I don't, in a, in I a don't bad have, night or good night, yes, I would want to. Speak I don't have you. girlfriend. I don't consider like women my best mates. No. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, okay. There's a caveat. If, let's say, for example, um, I know that. Um, your, for example, your wife is like good friends with me, and for for some weird reason, we are friends. Then we can be friends because I would never think like smashing her, but because I know okay, there's like a barrier. There. Yeah, but yeah. There's a line, yeah. But if there's no barrier, I, but I think I could be good mates with a woman, and if she asked me, would you smash her, turn her openly? Yes, I would. And I would, I won't be, I won't feel any type of. I used to feel the type of way, like, oh, you're just my best friend. I know that you would never smash him. I'd just be like, <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> every hug that you give me, I love this shit. Like, come on, man. I, I, every day in the morning we see each other, you hug me. I feel, I, I, I feel like powerful. Yeah, I would, but sometimes barriers are there. Yeah, I feel like there has to be a barrier to like stop it. There has to be. Yeah. Let's get to the next one. This one is very, very, very quite funny. Hopefully I can find it. Hmm. Okay. That your parents have done, that's made you go, eh? What? Are you sure? Mine was when my dad told me and my siblings that we couldn't watch, we were banned from watching Kim Possible, yeah? Because if you take the K away, it spells impossible and nothing is impossible with God. Oh my days. Yo, 
Yeah. He's basically saying that he was not allowed to watch Kim Possible. <laughs> That's very. I mean, I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of shows. I really? Uh, okay, Harry Potter. Guys, I don't know what Kim Co- Possible is. What's What's Kim Possible? Kim Possible. Call the me, cartoon? beat me if you want to reach me. Da, 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 uh, da, da, I didn't watch that. <laughs> I yeah. don't know what that is. Okay, you were playing in the village. What, what, what's 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 Kim okay, Possible? Possible is basically a cartoon. D- yeah, yeah a okay, cartoon. I, I never heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't watch cartoons like you know, he's from never Africa. Watch, I, I never watched cartoons as a kid. I watch cartoons, but not Kim Possible. What cartoons did you watch? I watch Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I watch uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> Sports. This is like shit like, from the nineteen forties, nineteen thirties. But I don't like even Tom and Jerry. Like Tom and Jerry was after crap. after one shit. year, I got bored of it. I played like growing up. I only played like outside. Outside. Mm. Nah, I used to. I used to and play then okay, the then I then I played video games. But apart from that, mm. like cartoons. I used to be hooked on the TV. Thing. I used to be hooked on the TV. We so. weren't allowed to be at TV time. Okay. What about, what about the weekends? TV time. You can't just watch every the whole day TV. You crazy? Go play outside. Go find friends. Yeah, but I, I wasn't allowed to watch TV from Monday to Friday. But as a Friday one, yeah, Friday school, evening was already Friday movie night. Friday evening, we're the whole family. Knew. No, my brother and I used to go to the back then. It was you go yeah, to but the, but the rent is, movies. Was, mm-hmm. You go to the movie shop and you choose a movie. My brother chose a movie. My parents would also choose a movie, and then we all go home. And then my brother and I would like watch it the whole evening to Saturday because we knew we had to give it back on Saturday morning. And then TV's done. Saturday you're with your family. Sunday's church. There's no time or homework. There's no more time to watch TV. I mean, I didn't. I didn't watch a lot of TV. I to be fair. Be, even I if I, I even when I had time to watch TV, <laughs> uncles were already yeah. like calling dibs on TV. So like, it's <laughs> impossible. Watch, watch a lot of TV. I wasn't allowed to watch um, Harry Potter. Why not? Because it's witchcraft. That's the from the devil. That's very African, right? That's very African. I wasn't allowed. I'm my brother. I'm surprised that your your parents <laughs> are like that, though. Yeah. Okay. Very. My brother wasn't allowed to watch Ben Ten. Do you guys know what Ben Ten yeah, is? Of course, yeah. To the point where shame. I but felt why so though? sorry. But ben Ten is not that witchcraft. Because the one time they were told in church that that watch that that <laughs> <laughs> and all the monsters that come out that's from the devil, right? My and back then it was quite big. Ben Ten. My grandmother had bought my brother a Ben Ten like T shirt. I still remember it was an orange T shirt with a Ben Ten. It. You know, they. My dad came and he cut it up. Wait, is your dad not Austrian? Yes, but he believes in God. Yeah, but to the extreme that, that sometimes. Wow, even wow. worse. What did your mom even do worse to than him? an African. What did your mom not do? Not worse, to? but hmm? was he always like that? Or this no. influence from your mom. No, he has his own mind. Yeah, yeah, but like, I'm trying to think of an Austrian person. No, I told you, he's South you. African. But it, exactly, but he's an Austrian living in South Africa, so obviously the 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 circumstances. Oh, okay. the I told you, he's South African. Then. One time our pastor, our pastor preached, you're not allowed to say Merry Xmas. You must say Merry Christmas. <laughs> so then my mom went home and she like had to start all the cards again <laughs> and say like Merry Christmas or not Merry Xmas. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I feel like one. that one is still like mild. I don't think my, my parents had any restrictions. Only when it was like like ferociously crazy sex scenes. Ah, come on. But then if my mom was not there, my dad would just be like, come, just... I, uh, just I, I, I went to Zanzibar and I had like this snake um, show mm-hmm. and I put, put it a snake on your neck. And what did your mom say? And I sent it to my mom. What did she say? My mom called me immediately and told me, she sent me the prayer points to pray <laughs> against every spirit of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and she took that stuff seriously. Of course, she did. Really seriously. Of course, she did. And she told she warned me like like that's nonsense. I should never do that again. I was like, no, okay. <laughs> but the question you, you do got it? a good scolding from your mom. And another thing, but why would you send it to your mom? But you know how she's no, gonna. No, you're just no, trying to mind, show her. In my mind, I was on the high. I'm like, oh, I just had a snake on my. I can't believe I was you like, had yeah, a snake. Yeah, I think let me mom. let me send it to my mom, and I completely checked that. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> My, my sister went parachuting, yeah? Jumped from a plane. My dream. Like, why would she send, it, send that shit to my mom? <laughs> she told everybody, don't say anything to, to, to why, me. Why would your mom say? Her daughter is jumping out of a fucking plane <laughs> with a fucking parachute. Yeah. <laughs> what What's going on? She would go crazy. She had a fucking heart attack. Yeah. Of course now. I would do it. 
Yeah, but my mom would like also standing like watching you're me. You're putting yourself in places where you can actually die. It's even easier now yeah. to die. Obviously, in most cases, nothing ever happens. But yeah. now it's even easier to to die. Uh-huh. Even look, there were there were times like like I told you, I've ne- I've barely been to the Dunes of Fest because yeah. my mom always had like some premonition Funny or some stuff like like yeah. she'd just be like, I don't feel like there's a good spirit that you're not allowed <laughs> yeah. to go to the Dunes. <laughs> that, that was that was the first thing my mom told me. Like Dunes eats people every year. <laughs> To, uh, to be which fair, is, which is true. quite true. To a be lot fair, it's true. Everyone, everyone at least one person dies. At least one person dies every year. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. No joke. Who died the last year? Uh, we'll still, we'll still Google find it. Okay. Every year, every year. <gasps> Some people take two. Or, or don't let us use donors as an like, <coughs> example. Every like, or just donors. Every donor or lake or sea in Austria, at least one person dies. Every year, so that's why uh, oftentimes this this type of superstition yeah. with African comes okay. from. They'll just be like, okay, the water takes people away. But isn't I it their own fear that's just projecting onto you? Obviously, it is. Because if you're gonna tell, like, I mean, to a certain extent, right? Yeah. But like, for example, I wouldn't like it if my parents say, "Oh, every year someone dies in that lake. Don't go swimming." I'm still gonna go swimming. Yeah, yeah, but you know. The job of your parents is actually it's to just protect, to protect you. you. So it's to protect you even when it means that you can have fun. Better See, be safe than sorry. Before before I started going to clubs, yeah, I think I was like 20 something, 21, 22. And if I remember the first time I wanted to, my the, mom made me feel bad. Like good. even going to the club, I was already like, <laughs> I'm not going to have a good time. <laughs> like the, the way she talked me into like, you just like, I'm as well just stay inside. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she wanted, <laughs> and that's way that's way yeah. safer for her. So I'm like, okay, now I'm going. I'm I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what if something happens? And then coming back home, so I'm extra careful. Extra booking the Uber home. I'm like, I hope this guy is not too, <laughs> like completely paranoid in and Austria. That, yeah, and that's actually not even good. Okay, how often no. does your mom tell you like, please be careful when you're driving? Yeah, same thing. She just randomly call you. Today I just feel something. Just be careful when you're driving. I'll call my mom in the night, let's say like around ten. You're not at home. I'm like, yeah, I'm my way home. Are you sure you live at home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, I live. She said, you're never home. I'm like, I just w- stepped out. So for them, like, you need to be at home by ten. You just want that, you to be safe. Anything outside Fuck that fun. is already like. Don't have fun. Yeah. The only fun yeah, you can have is That's why I don't tell my parents much. The only, th- the only fun you can have is go to work, come home, read your Bible, anything that is secure and safe within practical walls. Well, from I came to Austria when I was sixteen. So from sixteen to twenty-one, my routine was German school, church, home, then uni, church, home, uni, church, home for six years. I, I had no, no wonder friends. you're so wild now. I, I had no, fr- I had no friends. Okay, I had friends, but like colleagues, like white colleagues. Yep. I think I properly started moving with, with school with blacks or black people when I was like 23, 24. Even I wasn't even allowed to hang out with friends during the week. Yeah, me too. Even, I, on, even on the weekends, it's quite dicey. No yeah, like, okay, yeah. what are the parents doing? I, I, exactly. I see, blah, blah. Yeah, I rem- and like, I, aren't you writing a test? I remember when I came, my mom. Restricted me from moving with certain people. I'm just and yeah. the thing is, no, I know those un- people now, and I'm glad I didn't move with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. No, if your <laughs> no, if your mother says mm, I don't like Victor, there's a reason. Yeah. There's a reason. There's a, yeah. see, your parents already know the patterns. You know they're kind of like yeah. you know what's going to yeah. happen. So it, it it is good, but it's also bad at the same time. But the thing is, there's still sometimes like, I remember I used to learn like piano, then like to play the keyboard, and my mom. So anytime I go play the keyboard, I come back like. Very late. Nine, ten. Mm-hmm. You won't go crazy. And then it happened first time. Oh, okay. Second time. Third time. <laughs> she's like, no, you're not going to yeah. this keyboard again. Well, you do you know the annoying thing? She's not like that with my siblings anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, because, because I think that's... Okay, first, you're the first okay, one. Yeah, yeah. The first one has to lay a proper foundation so mm-hmm. that the other ones can actually move. I'm like, my brothers are going training. They're coming back. And they're calling me. I'm like, you're not home. Because, because she <laughs> saw I'm like, what? Yeah, but she... <laughs> I know, it's your, so your unclear. Mom, your mom kind of like saw you doing it. And then she realized, okay, it was some way, somehow successful. I was always told, because like back home, there's a lot of festivals that happen. And I went to attend one. And my, pr- my mom would always be like, that's for white people. 
she just stopped there. And I knew it's a no. She was just looking at your dad? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, white that's for white people. And my dad would be like, no, no. <laughs> your mother said you can't go, right? So, okay, fine. <laughs> my brother, last year was like his last, his final it's year. Going everywhere. Everywhere. This man, I'm like Jordan, and he's like, no, I'm out with my friends. I'm oh, out okay. this. But, then, but I also, I also think that it's because parents yeah. also realize that they have to tweak it a little bit. How unfair. No, and no, no, no. I think, you know unfair. what? The way, the way my mom treats my sister is completely different from the way she treats my brothers. My sister can't just go out. Which is funny for me, it was different. I feel my, like my sister is like, she'll call me, can I go out with you? Mom will not allow me to go. Then I'll hear them in the background, like arguing with each other. But you never allow me to go. I'm just, I'm just like in the background smiling. Yeah, but she we, would but never we, allow. But we know. But why, why smiling? Then you should take your sister out. Start taking no, her out now no, before no, she no, gets no, no, too no, no. crazy. The thing is my sis- I take my sister out, but the thing is, she doesn't want to hang out with me. She wants to hang out with her friend. Yeah, but she needs to use you as a false pre- uh, yeah. so <laughs> be that pretense. Be that person. Be that so false pretense. Please be that person. It's better. Otherwise, if your sister is too holy, holy than yeah. thou, trust me, we know those holy. We holy know those now. ones. I was one of them. Then in her twenties, so now you're a bad She's girl. brushing her teeth. <laughs> oh no! Ah, no, no, no! You see, no. I've seen that happen. It could have happened to me. Victor, why are you acting like this? Please, just, just everybody's messing with somebody's sister. Ah, no, my except sister. for except oh, for me, Oliver. except for my brother's sister. No one's mm-hmm. messing with me. Uh, you, yeah. All of a sudden, it's now oh, not my sister, not my sister. That, it's that was true. One, the next it's man. True. <laughs> it's true, Mayowa. And she so, will still go to church on Sunday and be. And she'll still be the holiest of holy. Because like, you should just say yes. I'll take you out and just say I'm I'm dropping you off at Donut Centrum, but I will be in Donut Centrum, and you best not leave. That's what you must say. Nah, 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 no, and that's still is, giving us so much freedom. No, she has to learn it. Otherwise, you can just go here. Why? Yeah, it's, yeah. be, it's better for you, you to, crazy, to yeah. let her a little bit. Because there were so many situations that I was in where I didn't tell my parents that I was going to Cape Town to go clubbing. Hey. Anything could have happened to me. You see? Anything could have happened to me. Yeah, you you don't want it to get to the point when one of your guys is like, look, look where I chopped. And <gasps> because you never show them your sister, it's like showing you. Like you it's just, you're just going to be like, that's my sister. It was a, Eh? And then this guy has been telling you all of the stories, all of the things that she's been doing. And you are laughing and smiling with this guy. Not knowing that this guy is giving your sister back to back, 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 back. <gasps> stories that touch the heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse to be. Oh, that. no. And now you refuse. Oh. Look. That's if she cool. wants to hang out with someone, she must just phone me. I will be a scapegoat. No, I don't mind. Me, I knew from the girls. I don't as, mind. As, as, as I am chopping someone else's sister, someone is also chopping my sister. You see, it's just a cycle. That's how I'm supposed to go. And even worse for my dad, somebody is chopping. Nobody his daughter. must chop my sister. The nobody. will, nobody. The will nobody. with hot with hot sauce. Victor, he's <laughs> always asking me, "How is it that you're still like this? And how is it that you're not talking to anyone? No one is like. Not many girls are like me. Do you want it to be like me? Yes, all alone. Yes." Yes. The whole life. No, I, would no, want to, I, I no. would never want my sister to be you like see? Montana. That's mad. That's what. That's what you see? No, actually, it's crazy. No, I don't want that to be like Montana. No, Montana is a different breed. Still. No. On a scale from one to ten, she needs to. Like, okay, let's say six. Because out of being out there, you can also find good things. Exactly. If she must learn. Calm, she must learn. Montana, keep your advice. No. No. Next topic. <laughs> let's move on. It's a little personal, uh-huh. eh? No. You see, this is what Kim Possible but has cost. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this Kim Possible thing, I've never heard of it before. <laughs> we're, just, we're just watching Kim Possible. Look at, look at where we end up. But the thing is, yeah. have you guys watched, like, do you guys watch stuff that used to start by 12 a.m. in the night? Funny enough, yeah. Because mm, no. I, I used to be, be kind of like addicted to TV because I never was able to watch. So from Friday to Sunday, I would just be banging TV, yeah? So my, sister, my, my mom would always ask my brother, like, I was always late till like 1 a.m. in the morning. What is he watching? <laughs> My brother must be like, yeah, he's just watching like, like rewinds from like, or, like, like repeats from, from other series. Trust me, they were not repeats as of 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call in 1 800. Oh, yeah. Look, I was watching all of those things because obviously, <laughs> they, were, look, they will still show the TV series that I was watch, uh, want to watch, but every now and then the break is always, oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we would also have it um, at a certain time. Then there would be these ads like SMS one two three four zero. But but in German it sounds even crazy. Like no six hundred, no six hundred. Ruf an, non on seventy, non on seventy, no and hundred. Ruf an. I'm I'm just gonna be like oh, maybe I should call them. <laughs> Did you ever call? I think I called once. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like trust me, and you you will see below yeah, how yeah, much yeah. they are how much they are charging okay. for women. What? 80 cents. Plus you still have to pay your own bills. Yeah. God damn. So that was just a, a hotline? A phone operator, like, but she's probably sitting on a desk just She's lying in bed and just doing okay. when what age did you start watching porn? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Montana, what about you? <coughs> Eight? No, sorry, I can't get over it. Um, you can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I was still watching porn in the nineties, where you still have to change the, like the the the, the, oh, the, oh, the codes oh, to, oh, to the, the internet. internet. Hmm? I'll tell you guys, but but let me hear, let me hear Montana's on. I think honestly, my first thing I ever watched, I think I was 16 because my friends were like, "You don't know what this is." I'm like, "No, I 16? don't know what it is." Uh, and I think it was like human centipede or whatever. I don't know. Eh? Human centipede. Hey, we were, <laughs> I don't know what I was watching. Then we went to look that up, and then I only started actually becoming curious with 19. So I think 19 was like probably when I was like, "Oh, what is this?" Then I realized, um, I don't really like it that much. Okay, but okay, let me rephrase this question. It might be a bit personal. When was the first time you saw someone else's private part that is not your family? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I, th- I was like 20. 20? 20. Good God. I want my, my sister has to be like you. I was 20. 20. No, and I've never seen anything since the 20. I haven't You've never seen haven't seen someone else's since Funny I was you're 22 now. Yeah. Two years. Two years. The first naked girl I actually saw by me actually approaching her to be naked in front of me was on webcam. One of my classmates. <laughs> I swear to God. Your classmates? We are chatting. Brrr, you know, M- M- MSN days. We are chatting. Brrr, you know, those, those, those pixelated webcam was just... Choo, choo, choo. I think my dad... Yeah, we messenger. Like, we, we, all like, we all had like a personal personal room of his like, like, a, like a office. So I'm down there <laughs> writing. Brrr, all this, and then she started opening up herself. So dark brown nipple. <sighs> God damn, it was amazing. But then the next day I tried to talk to her and she was acting so all weird. I'm like, what's, what's her problem? I saw you naked. <laughs> like, why are you acting like this? I don't How know. old were you? Maybe like 13 or so. What are but, kids doing? But it's actually, but it's actually, but it's actually cool. Like, for me for me to be that old, my first girl I saw on, on, was on the internet. That's a full cycle. That means I'm still continuing to be doing this shit on the internet. And nothing has ever changed, actually. I think the first time I watched porn was 11. <gasps> Guys, aren't you playing on the streets? Oh, like, no, and and do you know how? Because you, you already have a boner by. What, because what, back then, what, I think what time I got, you have a boner. What time? What, what, I, when I can't is, remember that. But, but still, like, um, I was, 10. I was, I was having. Okay, this is actually embarrassing. I remember I was in primary school. You I see, was, that's what I'm saying. I was nine and ten. I remember the the crush. I can't name it. Anytime I hold this girl hand, I have <laughs> a constant boner to the point that I think I even ejaculate. <gasps> really? I already? swear. <laughs> See, constantly, ah. I was you horny, see man. You see what I'm saying? It already I was starts horny. that early. It and to the point that, early. see, to the point that she used to sit, she, what am I she, going to tell she, my son? She used to, she used to sit in front of me. She used to sit in front of me. And let's say we're having like an exam or test. The, the first time I experienced pure orgasm was not true sex. It was by holding hands. No, not holding <laughs> hands. It was during a test <laughs> where... The t- I remember that she day. She just showed her leg. No, no, no. The teacher said two. M- so, like, I think I had like four more questions to answer, and it was like ten minutes more. My dick was rock hard to the point that my hand was shaking. I'm like, "There's no way I'm going to fail this exam if I don't." So my hand was shaking like this, and this girl was right in front of me. And, and you were only hard because she was in front of you. No, it has nothing to do with the girl. This is like, <laughs> this, but this is not. Everyday shit for men. This has this has nothing to do with the girl. What made me orgasm was the intensity of like, <laughs> I'm going to fail this exam and I'm not done yet. And it made it even hornier. Yeah, I'm, well, oh, I'm, I'm going to fail this exam. Ooh. Then she shows a bit of a leg. No, no I wasn't I even thinking that. of that. Like my the first time I experienced pure orgasm was like ten. Now, now mind you, like 
middle school, it was a time where girls started wearing thongs. I thought my head busted. I was like, <laughs> How did you wait, see? wait, like, How did you they see will bend that over and there's that? a string between your nyash. And I was thinking about it. I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking about myself. I'm just like, if a string is between my nyash, that's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but why is it that you women are wearing this thing? And I was just like, ah, Yasmin, <laughs> what's Yasmin. going on? Amazing, but it, because of the time you start grouping girls, because then grouping I, girls, we used to group girls. Trust me, we used to group I, girls. I, I used to have. What do you like, mean group girls? Okay, when was the first time you had a wet dream? Nah, I don't. I don't. Maybe. First time I had a wet dream was in GS three. Maybe maybe a thirteen. So I I used to like, I think I had sex mad late. I think when I was nineteen twenty. Yeah, well, that's normal. But in my mind, I've had sex since I was ten. Yeah, you're just waiting for the day. To be fair. See, yeah, bro. Going through the experience. Oh. I've had sex since I was ten in my mind because, and the thing is, the second time that happened again was in GS was I think SS one or SS two. I was writing the same thing. <laughs> I was writing this exam. My hand was shaking. I'm like, there's no way. Like everyone looks up to me. I need to pass this exam. Ten minutes more. <laughs> what do you mean everyone looks up to you? No, because you know, he was back the then, smartest one in the really? class. Yeah, so I'm like, my dick was raw hard. Okay, I'm screaming. <laughs> and that's how I like experienced like it was like very ah. intense. And it has nothing to do with a girl or anything. So it's just like pro- you know, like when people say like they can like experience orgasm in a different way. I used to believe it. Mm. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have like it's anything good. sexual. Being a man is not easy yeah. because you deal with and you don't know who to talk to because you can't really talk to because your back dad. then I had like my first proper phone, which was like one Nokia with like maybe ten megabytes. And now you, I'll go to the cyber cafe to pay for extra porn. <laughs> yeah, because then you have to like pay to download music. So once you finish listening to the music for one week, you delete it. You download another one because you only had like 10 megabytes space. And then I remember uncle, my uncle caught me. Watching, <laughs> what did he say? Watching porn. What did he say? Ah. What did he say? I got my phone seized. Oh, he snitched. Yeah, he snitched. <laughs> It sticks to my grandma. Everyone knew. And then, do you know what stool down means? You put your hand oh, on you the floor yeah, yeah. and then your legs on the floor for one hour. I was begging. You sit like this? No. no. You, you, your hand has to be on the floor. Your le- one it's leg. not actually a hand, it's a finger. Yeah, your, your finger. You're basically resting all of your weight yeah, on, on, on one finger up. and one leg up. Yeah, Bro, but it still didn't stop me from watching. It can't stop you. Because it's such an it's it's such an amazing surge of feeling that you just can't understand. But it, for I, you, for I, you, this thing is disgusting. But that's what men are going through. That's why men are so see, it, highly. Because the thing is, at that point, your yeah, testosterone levels I, is like going crazy. Then again, I was reading. But but and but the thing and that's also one thing that parental like guidance is next. Because if I had no parental guidance, I would have had sex since I was eleven. No, but that's not true. That's not true. I think that w- what should have happened at that time is no, like I think your parents should have kind of your like Your parents yeah, your parents should start speaking <coughs> to you a bit about more I nev- about I n- sex. I never had like any sexual parental yeah, talk. Had had only my brother had it. I had I it, had but it. it was more kind of like, you know, this is Just what happens. It, yeah. it's a Stay away because you're full pregnant. No yeah, it's always, a, it's always the like pregnancy they, thing. Yeah, like they just scare girls, you know. The first time I had like a proper um, encounter, maybe I was like, you play mom and daddy. <laughs> then you play mom and daddy. You're in our head, we're dry humping girls. Constantly dry humping. And then after dry humping, I'll be like, I hope you won't fall pregnant. <laughs> but I didn't know that that's not what makes... A woman pregnant, I thought dry humping a woman alone is already it will make her pregnant. It's already too much. Because the only thing I was afraid of then was I hope she doesn't get pregnant. I hope I'm not a young dad. That was the only thing on my mind. Every other thing, because that was the only thing they told us, don't mm. get pregnant. Yeah. Or maybe in school, abstinence is the best. Which <laughs> but then we're not even you're just thinking that ah, this one. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's the thing. It's crazy. But yeah. Gosh. That was that was a mad that was a trip, huh? It's traumatic. Very traumatic experiences. And it I just hope that if I ever have kids that I'd be more sexually open. Not with, not with them, but you know, have like, those talks already. Like, you know, I think it's fine to experience what you're experiencing because exactly, it's only limit. human. There's a limit to everything because a few weeks ago I was watching uh, Ultimatum. 
Uh-huh. Or the, the, the LG- new one? The, the LGBTQ one. With uh-huh. The lesbians, yeah. Uh-huh. The LGBTQ one? Yeah, yeah. It was quite actually, it was, it was interesting. You know, Nobody's more toxic than lesbian chicks. But there was one interaction where there was this one chick, yeah, she was talking to her parents about her sexual activities. That's where it needs to stop be being open with our parents. Yeah, she, like she was telling her parents like she cheated on me, she fingered another girl. I'm just <gasps> like, nah, you we can't tell your mom and your dad that you two have having problems because first of all, I would never, problems. I would never t- exactly, yeah. I would never tell my parents, okay, I'm having issues because of extra relationship affairs. I would just be like, we're having problems, and we don't mm. need to go into details. Mm. But then you are even going into further into details by telling they're sitting in front of the table like she fingered another girl. No. Like why? And that, but now I, that I would like, like to know: Is it? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he because he's in front of the camera, he has to be supportive. But he's uh. just in his mind, like I'm too open for this shit. Nah. No. But were they white? Of what you? Of course they are. No, do you think it's just white parents who are like that? No, I think black parents are also trying to yeah. be more open. Look, you know, but no, none of my kids should be telling me that. Okay. Yeah, my girlfriend doesn't suck me off. Or I don't suck her off. Like, nah. This is something that you have to talk to. I don't know. Your any- friends. Exactly. I was just be like, okay, sex is not just pregnancy. Yeah. It's also fun. Yeah. Be safe. Yeah. That's what we call the line. Because now, now my son will be asking me, okay, how do you do it? I'm like, I'm doing it with your mama. I don't want to be but, telling but you the details. Is, you? But if your son comes to up to you and is like, dad... How do you kiss someone? At what age? Okay, kissing them. But that's, 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 the that's, question is at what age? What? <laughs> kiss? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It depends on when he asks me. What age he asks me? Look, now. those are things I had. Do you see he people? asks you at 16. Yeah, they're now telling him how to kiss. By 16, I'll be looking at him. What's wrong with you? Like, come on. <laughs> He'll be like, be a man. <laughs> I've been kissing girls since I'm five. <laughs> Seriously? No, I actually haven't. I think my first kiss was like 18. Five. 19. Five. What? French kiss? No, no French kiss. was... <laughs> no French kiss. What French was your first kiss. Yeah, French kiss. Maybe thirteen or so. I'm so late to the game. Look, some so some of my classmates. I, I, I some of my classmates would have girlfriends. They'll be like, "Mayo, do you want to group my do you my group my girlfriend?" Like, bro, <laughs> this guy would just take my hand and be like, "Just touch her breast." Like, it was calm back in the days. We didn't know what we were doing. You just touch her breast like that. This guy would just be like, "Why don't you touch my girlfriend's breast?" I'm just like, "But she's <laughs> a girlfriend." He was like, "Und now." <laughs> A lot of crazy used Europe. to happen. Hmm? Europe. Yeah, I mean, well, that's crazy. Europe. Welcome to the pride. Well, yeah, guys. Um, don't have madness. But there's a rumor currently happening in the streets of the Afrobeats. Uh-huh. Hmm. Victor, what's happening on the streets of Afrobeats with our beloved king? <sighs> so basically, David Doe and his baby mama mm-hmm. um, thingy. So... There's this girl called or lady called Anita Brown. Mm-hmm. She basically came out and said she's pregnant. And well, how well, old is this guy? <coughs> Davido. Maybe he's 30, 31. Is, yeah, probably either 30 or late 20s. <gasps> yeah. Why did I think he was so much older? 70 something? 70? Oh. Are you thinking of Italian Davide? <laughs> no, <laughs> Davido. Do you know Davido? No, I know if. If I told you yeah. that, I does he look seventy something? I'd never seen the music video. I don't know what he looks like. Well, he can you know stand in front of me because it's just playing all the time. Okay, and you see, this girl said, "Okay, she didn't know David Doe was married." Well, I could believe because I didn't know he was married. Okay, okay, if you're, but you're with the, you're with a superstar like David Doe is big. He's bigger than like he's one of I think one of the biggest top no, he fifty is. artists in the world. Uh-huh. Definitely. Yeah. Really? Top fifth. Can, can you mention Ronaldo and not mention Davido in that same sphere? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ronaldo is bigger still. It's somebody you have yeah. to know. It's somebody okay, you should let's know. Let's say top, say it's if it's not top 50, top, top 100. 100. Easy. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I believe that. And so, how can you now say, how can you say that, look, you don't know that he's married? And then she, she went on a Twitter rampage, Twitter rant, and she said, Davido, she's pregnant now. And David Doe, I think, asked her to um, eliminate the baby. Abort. Or abort the baby. <laughs> um, you are eliminated. And now she's, like, dragging David Doe. Like, okay, she... That David Doe is not taking responsibility of making mm-hmm. her pregnant. She brought her receipts. So it's she, actually true. He's under fire. 
We don't. We, we, we I don't mean, know if it's true, but I mean, is. obviously, the, 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 it's probably true. But then the question is, and another. So apart from this, and Tabrow, I still saw on Twitter today another one. Another came one out. came out at the same time. Yeah. While I think yeah. the major issue is like his his, cur- yeah. his current wife. She's also pregnant. Yeah. And so it's a Nick Cannon <coughs> thing. No, no, his current wife is not pregnant. His current wife lost. Okay, but she, well, she's pregnant. Pregnant. Oh, she's she pregnant she. again. I uh, suppose she should, should, should be pregnant now. Oh, after apparently. she lost the baby, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. They so, lost the child. So uh, apparently, she was saying that like Davido. So there's this like meme on online that like while Shioma, where is Davido's was wife, was mourning. She was. He was mourning. <gasps> uh, mourning. <laughs> Davido was mourning. So. <gasps> so like it's just like a whole embarrassment for for his current wife. And, yeah. and it's always the woman who then feels so embarrassed. Meanwhile, he should feel embarrassed. And the thing is, Davido is performing right now, or he performed uh, at Afro Nation. At Afro Nation, people still. If love I tell you, say I love but you. Then the, but then, the question is, my money and my body now your own. But then oh, I didn't hmm. even know he said that. That's not what he said. But the question is, like, when women come out like that, what do you expect about? What do you want about this? Like, I also want to know what they want about famous artists. Okay, you got pregnant, like, and you're claiming that okay, you don't even want the baby anyways. You're but another annoying thing that she's saying is she's also bringing God into it. Like, I love God. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, if we, the core essence of Christianity is like, it's, yeah, yeah a sinner. F- everyone is a sinner. There's forgiveness, but I'm not going from that aspect. But I'm going like, like, if you're coming out with something, because first of all, you're fornicating, so. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't bring the Bible now into because you're already doing everything that the Bible doesn't Same, like. Yeah. So I'm not bashing that for loving God. I think even thieves love God. I assume. So why they want to thieve But then, when things like this happen, you cannot be using like Bible, Christianity, God to now be okay. Let, 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 let me let me play devil's advocate. Although we are talking about church, but why can't she? That's what I also would love to know. Why can't, can't she? she Why can't God? she love God? She no, 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 no. I'm not saying she can't love God. She can't love God, but don't bring the now God as an argument in whatever you're doing. First, your stuff is. But, but now she knows better. I've done my. I've done my deed. I've made my mistake. But oh, now, after I know the that. fact, after she got pregnant, yeah. mm. and um, and I'm likely to make the same mistake. Who am I to judge? And God will still. Who am I to judge? Everyone can. Do, I mean, everyone has their own relationship with God. So at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't, uh, think, I don't think we should bash David do. He should keep doing what he's doing. He's a, he's, a, he's a man of God, son of man. I mean, he's a superstar. What do you expect? He, no, stop. No, no, don't stop. yourself, man. No, no, what, yourself. no, what do you mean? Control yourself? No, behave Khadrai. yourself. Uh, say that again, guys. Khadrai. Khadrai. Khadrai yourself, man. Khadrai yourself. Is that Arabic? No. <laughs> do you speak Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. But why would he control himself? Because... We, we are we are male mortals. Those guys are superstars. I mean, this guy would perform in Portugal. They are like at least. So minimum. just because Let's you're a superstar, the rules don't. Oh well, yeah, the rule don't apply to you. Cause <laughs> no, no. Think about this thing. Yeah, if 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 David do, for instance, let's say hundred women, hundred beautiful women want to have sexual relations with David do. If this guy says no to seventy percent of this of the women, we need to actually give him a medal. Ah, this thing again. Nah, come on, man. Cause. I, Victor, how many women do pester you to have sex with them? And how many of those ones do you sleep with? <laughs> how many women would pester you and you would sleep with at least 90? Nah, never. I'm not saying like hypothetical. No, <laughs> never. You see? Because these <laughs> guys, those nah. Chris Browns, those superstars, there's only so much that man can take. They are constantly among temptation. Nah, but I still feel like I don't condone this baby mama. Um, That's what I don't thinking. condone. That's um, why I always tell you guys, so strap like, up. If you know, if you mm. know like you're not... Because I, I feel not every woman is a fit to be a mother. Is fit to be a, a mom, <coughs> and not every woman is also like sane. It's not every woman a man should sleep with. Not every woman, and the thing is, there are women yeah that has zero shame. <laughs> zero shame. Shame about what? What should they be shameful about? No. They will so, no, 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 no. When I say shame, it has nothing to do with like sexual shame, but like people 
people were like they have ac- absolutely no shame in terms of they would like drag you anywhere like people who don't care about anything can you actually persecute those people for for doing that because let's say for instance okay so one time you have a you broke up with your ex mm-hmm. and this guy is still posting and lambasting about what you what you guys did sexually and he's like I have receipts and constantly posting no that, that, that you can le- legally like prosecute someone but, but that was what she was doing because she was posting text message of like okay okay text messages is not as long as it's not sexual content but that's still unfair though I don't feel like you should be posting my text messages that I that I and I and you and I were having Obviously, ethically, it's not. I also wouldn't do yeah. that. Like, come on, man. You see, um, why wouldn't you do that? Because you're saying. Because I'm what? You're saying. No, no, no. Let, let her answer. Why wouldn't you do Why that? wouldn't I post? Yeah. Because we're done. We're done. What's done is done. Yeah, is it because you're also like, do you, you have some kind of like self-respect and shame for yourself? Yeah. Most probably, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let me, don't even let me use shame. I would use like, there are certain women that like, have nothing to lose. <laughs> and these stars, mega stars, not even mega stars. Like but that is true. So I if, agree. if if you're a mega star and you're chilling with girls that have nothing to lose, things like this are bound to happen every single time. Mm. But I think but I was also, but I was, I think that's something that your mom should actually Teach talk you. to you about. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. oftentimes mothers are just like, okay, be careful women. But I don't know, I don't you need to explain the dangers yeah. of women to me, you know, for me to understand how to navigate. Because women operate differently, and you exactly because so oftentimes okay. you women are just like, nah, I don't trust this woman. We're just like, Man, she's a cute girl. She's we don't mm. know how mm. dangerous yeah. she is because because yeah. one thing I always women always say is that like the way men treat us is different to the way men treat each other mm. because. I can be like Victor's the nice, most nicest guy, but the way he's treating you because you are a woman is might be more aggressive. To me, yeah. to me, it's like the most calmest guy, mm. and that's oftentimes the interaction that we have with women as well. Because mm. she's so cute, she's so loving, and then amongst women, she's a bitch. A bitch. Yeah. Them and women, yeah. mothers should actually tell their their sons like, yeah. there are certain type of women that you should be, you can be agree. with, and a certain type of women you should never even interact with yeah. because you just make your life a living hell. Yeah. Mm. And that's one prayer that every man needs to pray, never to. Have a child with a lunatic. Yeah, because I can no. fuck up your whole shit. That can, that will really mess up your whole life. Yeah, you will not, you I've never seen see it. The kid, it will mess up. It will mess you know, up your you whole know, life. you know, she's willing to go to the extent that she she said she's willing to like every girl that Davido has impregnated or slept with. Um, she's going to help them. I don't know what did she say. Like she's willing to help them with some lawsuits. <laughs> like you're willing to go that far to. She's hungry. It's true. She's hungry. But hungry like, for what? Fame? What do you mean? Not not Money? fame. Care for the, for the fame is just 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 comes with it, yeah. But it's also the same thing of like financial means. A lot of these mm. women they don't have anything to offer. One thing we also have to understand is like beautiful women. That's their commodity. That's the thing that they are selling, and they yeah. can sell it for a high price. Yeah. You as a man, your commodity is oftentimes maybe your 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 physicality. Maybe they are strong. Yeah, you're an athlete. Status. Your status or even your your head, your mental yeah, state. Yeah. So that that's something that we all have. But for women, if they are beautiful, they can go far, or very very far. Because There's some side chicks that are made it. Huh? And thing is, she's willing to like go to the. I mean, if she, if she goes to the high court, she can make easy like 10, 15 bangers yeah. per month child support. Yeah. Who makes fifteen k child support by doing nothing? Mm. And then, I if mean, who, who if does I have some sexual interest? You need to find yeah. like proper big star. Like, don't worry, I can help you, but you need to break me off then. They're getting ten percent from a child support, though. No, I don't want to be pregnant. Just, just pierce the condom. That's what they do before they have sex. Those women, they, oh. they pierce the condom. How can you guys don't know these stories? I've girls heard pierce, these stories, but how can you be so conniving? No, so, uh, Let's say, for instance, Mona, I've heard, Mona, I've heard Mona, men also you, pierce condoms. That's when they want their I, women I, I to used to think pregnant. men, men. Uh, so there are g- girls, there are guys that want to intentionally yeah. impregnate yeah. someone, yeah. yeah, because maybe they want to be connected to that person forever. Yeah. So nobody can have you beside me. Exactly. I'm or like, I'm going or to they don't respect. <laughs> or they don't respect the like they. It's normally actually like husband and wife. Or they don't respect their wife, and the wife says, "Listen, I'm not ready to have a baby right now because maybe my career is taken off." But he's ready, so he's gonna mess up yeah, with yeah. the birth control or the condoms or whatever they're using. <gasps> Yeah, that's Imagine that's some, some real shit that happened in this life. Uh, that's false. People? Mm. That's false. Uh, 
clap you so hard. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, just to summarize, I just feel like, yeah, if not even if you're a superstar, you just need to know who you're dealing with. Like, and because, I don't think, yeah. I don't think so your the business men of, uh, men needs to be men. everyone's business. Huh? I don't think your business needs to be everyone's business. Yeah, like because the thing is, while they were having stuff, why didn't she come on social media and tell us that oh, they are dating? Why didn't she post? Because we won't care. Yeah, but so now is when after she, she needs sex. Yeah, okay. She can tell. She can tell us that she's dating. But, David is, though, but we need receipts, and the best receipt is the social media. paternity test. Yeah. Mm. So that means oh, you really had something mm. with David. Yeah. Ah, Jesus Christ! Now when a cool. paternity test, no taken man and must come to me. And I don't want no taken man. And it's hundred percent. I have a perfect video for this one. Okay. Can we would treat women better? Save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? <laughs> if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? <laughs> I don't find it funny. Well, well, I understand why you won't find it funny, but I find it funny. It's because Montana, the thing is, you are so wholesome. You do mess around with holes. I can see a hole. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Hungry. And <laughs> this guy anymore. Hungry. And they come and they disguise. And the thing is, a, a hole can even light to you. And we do. Oh, Montana, you know what's going on? See, I no, I don't know. I don't know what's happening on up, the streets. We fuck up everything that you want. Or that is very important to you. And at the end of the day, they'll tell you, huh. One so thing that can break me is me stepping outside and smashing the hole, and then she will just fuck up my whole shit. I think that I will, I think I can, I can, I can literally, but is I can, it the same I can that she's suicide. got nothing to lose? Yeah. She's got nothing to lose, nothing and I have so lose. much to nothing lose. Yeah, yeah. Mostly, like, that's why I said, like, you can't mess with people that have nothing to lose. Not it's difficult lose. because yeah. those women are very, very beautiful. <laughs> very, 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 very beautiful. V- very, very, very beautiful. <laughs> you know? We get it. V- beautiful. We get it. <laughs> but let's go back. Do. But no, let's but go I back remember, to it, I remember too, when I was in this situation, I also felt like ruining this person. Ah. But it's not because, I d- okay, I didn't have much, I still to this day, I don't have much to lose. But the only thing that just kept me is, kept you alive. Is I was like, why? Exactly. Why? He's literally m- worth nothing. Mm. Just a little speck. Oh, it's crumb of the earth. Right? It's like a chewing gum below, below, well, your, below exactly. your shoes. And then I was like, nah, okay, let's all move on. But not every woman thinks like not that. Not everyone thinks like that. Some women will fuck up your shit. Like, but, seriously. But, but, but the thing is, like, if if a woman has nothing to lose... That's the worst. Oh, just, most of the time, they have, like, two options. It's either they're, like, destruction mode, boom, or quiet mode. <laughs> yeah. And you never know what's gonna come. The, the quiet, men are sitting the, the, there on the, 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 seat. The quiet mode could be many things. Quiet mode would be like set another trap for you, for you to fall into. And that trap, yeah, if you're not careful and you fall into the trap again, she's got you. Then they're going nuts. So now nothing to lose. A wire mode. And I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you said was actually very true. I'm, I'm just thinking of the of the of the m- mathematics of the. But, but, of but you know one thing is like mostly when or the guys that are in that point also are not. Um, let me just put it like the things that they have to lose are not that important to the point that you'll just be like, yeah, she can do whatever she wants. No, nah, I me, mean, I have yeah. things to yeah. lose. Though. I have a lot of shit to lose. That means my, for me, the most important thing is like, my wife will be looking at me differently and my house is always going to be cold. Yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't stand that shit. And then, you're, and then imagine the world finds out or, you know, your circle man, fuck finds the world, out. Man, I don't care about the world. No, and now they're looking at your wife differently. Guys, I mean, it's all just about your wife. No, I don't think that they would look at my wife. They would be like, ah, we expected it from my wife. <laughs> no, that, well, let's be honest. Like, guys, guys don't For be like, when, when guys cheat and they're like, oh, no one is looking at your wife differently. They're just like, ah. No, they pity your wife, right? Oh, pity. What does pity mean? Because she's with my wife. No, no, because the next pitcher. guy is going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they, were just, they were just pity in the sense of like, oh, the next phase is going to be just like, yeah. Yeah, 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 but not not that. Oh, but she needs to forgive me. 
Because <laughs> the church, because well, that's why we go to church. Church is the house of sinners. That's why I often about so go to. So you sin again, and then you will pray for God. For How many God. times can you sin according to the Bible? Seven times, it's seven times, seven. Right? Okay, I don't know. I thought as many times as long as you ask for forgiveness. So am I really sinning? You're a sinner. Yes, you are. You're a sinner, man. Oh, am are. I moving according to God's no, will? You are no. moving far If there are no God. bad no. examples, how how would you learn? Think about it. So you want to be this case study? No, I don't, wanna, no I don't want to be a case study. <laughs> <laughs> no, same thing can you. Know, this, Shay, this thing, this thing can One thing me. about Mayo, he asks all these things. Meanwhile, he's the sweetest guy. I, I want to be a sweet the guy. The most faithful guy. And let's keep it like that. But it he's not like that in real life, for guys like yeah. this. But Thank the thing is, if if um, we didn't even talk about the what what he said what? that you can't save people. No, no. Are you Jesus? <laughs> you can't save them. But that was just a, just a snippet. You want to listen to it again? No, no, no. Like no, I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, guys, let's get to wisdom of the week because we need it after we have been going in in circles about a lot of. Fantastic topics. Okay. Montana, do you have something for us? Wisdom of the week. No, I don't have anything. You don't have anything. No. Vika, do you have a wisdom of the week? Um Wisdom of the Week. Actually I didn't think of anything to be fair. Yeah, um so wisdom of the week, guys. Just be careful who you move with. Like there are certain <laughs> women. Oh, that's so true. There are certain women that you can't be rolling with. A certain, if you're a guy of a certain caliber and status, or you just need to know who the kind of person that you are. No, but I don't think I think yeah. it just it can resonate in any yeah. sphere. Just, 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 just be, just careful. be careful with yeah. who you you know roll well, with. Just, in any case, that's true. That yeah. was be my wisdom. To be careful what we are doing, because not everything, not everything is reversible. And to be and fair, that too. And, and to be fair, yeah. Don't sleep with any woman that you don't want to wife. That's, trust me, <laughs> it's more difficult to find a wife than a mother. At least the person that you're having sex with, she should be a good mother. Yeah. At least just in case. I have a wisdom pre- of the week. Mm-hmm. But yeah. this is like so off topic. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a friend messaged me this week and she's like, Montana, your past always comes back. It always haunts you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what is she going on about? Guys, don't ghost people. Because they will come back into your lives. How so? Give us personal experience. Paint a picture vividly. Paint a picture? Okay. I ghosted this person one time and I mm-hmm. felt really bad. Like I felt so <laughs> bad no, for Montana, ghosting. Montana, I did not feel bad. No, I felt really bad for this one. It's her turn. I okay. felt really bad because I probably let this person on and then something happened and then I was like, oh, I can't deal with it. Mm-hmm. So let me just ghost this person. And I feel so bad that I did ghost this person. So the pers- first person I actually really properly ghosted. And I just left this person. My, I totally forget about this person. Almost a year later, I see this person again. I'm like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, do I, do I need to give this person an explanation for what I did? Or do I just walk on? Do yes, I ignore do. him? I just walked on. But I didn't, it's just like, I just saw him, you know, you just walk past someone and you're like, who's that? He looks so familiar. Shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to turn around. The same thing happened to my friend. Mm-hmm. She had ghosted someone mm-hmm. years ago, like four years ago. She has a new job. Turns out he's working in her building too. Hmm. She was confronted with that. She's like Montana. And I said, I Yeah, heard. but now even I worse, she's going to leave her email, work email on red. Not even respond. Shall but, but, but do you know what Montana said? Uh, you said you felt bad. I felt really bad. But then you saw him again. Another chance to correct it. No, I was just too, no, I was just too <laughs> embarrassed. That means you didn't feel bad. No, I did. But like, it's just so too... So you just walked away from it? No. Okay, yes. Yes, let me paint the picture. I came out of the Uban mm-hmm. and this person was standing on the corner. So there was not enough time. But, but the person and I just but walked the past. I don't know if they saw me or not. And okay. I just walked past okay, and okay. I remember thinking, this person looks so familiar. Where have I seen them before? You still have time to write them. You still have their contacts. So if you really feel bad, just message That's the person. That's true, hey? Yeah. Message I'll never do it. I'm just too embarrassed. So don't ghost yeah, people I mean, without of explanation. The week for, for, for men out there. Nah, ghost wherever you want to go. Don't ever no. tell <laughs> my wisdom of the week for them for the guys out there. Don't ever tell a woman that she's she's just ugly. Because eventually she can be a prime. 
No, so but she will always general. remember you because you never said anything about the ugliness. So when is her ch- when is her prime and is your chance? But in general, I think it's rude to go around calling people ugly. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and just don't comment on the person's looks. Unless you find them really attractive and you want to do something about it. But why are you calling me beautiful and you're not doing anything about it? (laughs) (laughs) It's called harassment. harassment. (laughs) Nowadays, it's called harassment. I want want to play a song before we we leave. It's my favorite song currently. Go by Nyash. They carry money, 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 go by Nyash. Instead of rice and beans. So, what does that mean? Translate. <laughs> Victor, please translate. What does that mean? So, it means. Women <laughs> will go do BBLs. Oh, is so it about the women who's gonna do the BBL, instead of like a, providing of, food? Yeah, instead of going to eat. So instead oh. of going buy rice and beans, you go and buy. But, but in the current society, it doesn't actually make sense because the BBL can eventually give buy, buy you the rice and, buy beans. rice and beans. So this guy thought he was saying something, but he's not saying anything because if you have a big yash, flat stomach, big breasts. You can buy as many as much as if it's proportionate, mm-hmm. if it looks good, if it doesn't, then you can buy rice for the whole family and for the extended family too. But guys, I it was beautiful. It, it was girl. awesome. As long as you don't die. We Thank you guys. You. We love you guys. Send any questions our way. Yeah, send questions. We like to interact with you. Yeah, don't Keep be I was be I was asked a question this week where someone was like Am I actually a chill person? Because apparently I look very chill on the screens. But if I'm a chill person in real life. Victor said he'd answer it on the pod. Victor, am I a chill person in real life? I would think I'm very chilled. Yeah, but you're With very a bit of crazy. Question one. I have a second question. Okay. You're very chill. Very chill. I'm very but, chill? But it depends on context. So. My question is, are you going to are you gonna text that person back? No. Okay. Then she's, then not, she's chill. not chill. <laughs> Guys, of it sin. No, I want last thing. They carry money go by Yasho. Instead of rice and beans. They money go by Yash. They carry money go by Yash. They carry money go by Presto. Instead of rice and beans.